Look, in today's modern society, the allure of sleek gadgets often blurs the line between style and utility. High-powered smartphones, like the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5, have rapidly evolved beyond just being communication tools. Yet most consumers remain unaware of the true potential nestled in the palm of their hands. The current narrative is that, well, it's one that people believe they require both a sophisticated smartphone and a laptop. So hang with me while I kind of break this down a little bit, the philosophy behind it. The perception stems more from the fashion-driven trend of owning a flagship phone than understanding its multifaceted uses, I should say. It's time we start viewing our smartphones as more than just a medium to connect and share. It's a pocket-sized computer, which is why I'm showing you Samsung Dex today. So we're going to start Samsung Dex. It's a pocket-sized computer waiting to be harnessed to its full capacity. So consider this. If given the choice between investing in a high-end smartphone or a budget laptop, which one would you choose? So let's see. What you see in front of you is my, my laptop screen, right? So I didn't do an external monitor this time. I'm just doing my Dell XPS screen. And this is the... Z Fold 5 Samsung Dex mode on display. So let's talk about it. Like I said, if you were given a choice between a high-end smartphone or a budget laptop, which would you choose? The more practical choice in terms of both utility and power leans toward the smartphone, whereas most flagship smartphones and even several mid-range ones are technologically superior to their budget laptop counterparts. This insight leads us to the revelation that is Samsung Dex, which is what you see on the screen here. So when you plug in your S series or Z series phone from Samsung, there is a desktop mode called Samsung Dex. With Samsung's latest offering, the Z Fold 5, Dex stands out as a star feature, transforming the device into a virtual workstation. The advanced Qualcomm Snapdragon chipsets integrated into these devices have made the experience of running Samsung Dex on an external monitor uncannily similar to operating a laptop. As you can see, when you open up apps, it kind of opens up in the app form, but you can make it bigger and then maximize the window as if you're running a Windows application or on a desktop, which is pretty cool. You can click on anything, but you can see the performance. It's not lagging or anything. It works really well. So whether it's drafting emails, working on documents, spreadsheets, or even venturing into like video editing apps like LumaFusion, Samsung Dex promotes and provides like unparalleled performance, like right, beyond what you can get in other areas. So I'm just typing things. As you can see, it looks like and feels like you're using a real uh, like browser on a PC because you're using the power of the Snapdragon set, uh, chipset that is certainly powerful, that can do many things like video editing, but you're just putting it into a desktop mode. So as you can see, it functions just like a regular computer. Why would you buy a smartphone and a laptop? So this is a bold statement, right? But with the functionality and the ease offered by a modern smartphone, uh, it outshines most budget laptops. So why not challenge the conventional wisdom and truly explore the capacity of your smartphone device? So let me just open up an app. Let's open up something like LumaFusion. Like I'm going to search here. See how easy this is to use? It feels very intuitive. And LumaFusion is an app. You pay for it. I think it's like $20, $25, right? All these. Um, look at this timeline. You see how quickly that opened? Like the Venture Resolve doesn't open as quickly as it does on the laptop, which is a Dell XPS 17. That's the monitor that I'm recording right now in front of your face. It doesn't open up as fast as that. So I'm not going to be able to show you a lot right now, but I just wanted to show you how quickly it opens. Like it pulled up all the files as fast. These are all things that are in my computer, right? Uh, but this is the type of stuff you can do with just your phone. You don't have to buy a laptop and buy Final Cut Pro or um, go get the Venture Resolve. You can use like LumaFusion or whatever on your smartphone, and that's really, really cool. Um, so envision this as well. You say, well, Brian, you're on your laptop. Why not just use your laptop? This is just me giving you a monitor to use, right? You could have an external monitor, but envision connecting your phone to the VR glasses, and I'm not talking about Vision Pro from Apple. I don't want anybody to buy that because we have pioneering brands like Xreal, Rokit, or TCL who have already made VR, MR, mixed reality, all that thing, right? It's the epitome of portability and power when you bring those type of glasses with your smartphone, right? Offering a dynamic display that sits comfortably over your eyes. All this computer power, right, without the cumbersome weight of a laptop and, and often at a more reasonable price. Like the glasses with the phone together might just be a better price than uh, anything else you have. So, I mean, I showed you I was 
YouTube my last time, you know, let's pull up on YouTube music or something, right? Everything just opens for all is easy, by the way. My 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 music taste, I hope you like it. You know, we got Nas over here. But like everything opens flawlessly and easily. All this computing power without the cumbersome weight of a laptop and often at a more reasonable price, right? Like I say, you're basically using the computer. Every app that you can think of that's on iOS form, whatever, it's all here. If you wanted to pull something open like a chat GPT, you know, you have it all. Netflix. You don't have to have a desktop version to use these things. I mean, look at it. Just open it up. It's like having a desktop version of these apps. All these things are here, right? And you can do this on just your phone with an external display, and it does not cost as much as buying a really nice laptop. You don't have to buy a MacBook Pro. You don't have to buy a MacBook Air, any of those things. Just a nice phone, maybe even a mid-range phone that has desktop mode, like a Motorola ready for, like I said, or you can buy like the Samsung S series devices. All of the Samsung S series devices have it even back down to the S10e. So those things are really cheap right now, right? You can run desktop modes on those. It's the duty of the tech reviewers and the enthusiasts to bridge that lack of knowledge with the with these consumers, to educate them, to challenge that mindset that no one uses a device. It's not about merely showcasing features, but emphasizing the practicality and urging users to delve deeper. Samsung's integration of DeX in its Z and S series stands testament to the future of mobile technology, in my opinion, right? Uh, it's an invitation for users to explore and optimize, right, and imagine newer use cases. I mean, look at the guys explaining that. Look at all these things. Look at all the compatible Samsung DeX option. But then even if, you know, let's also do Motorola Ready 4. I forgot how you spell it. Uh, I think it's actually Ready 4, which is hilarious, like, instead of, like, the number. But they have it, too. Uh, a desktop mode. So in conclusion, really, the evolution of smartphones like the Samsung Z Fold 5 and the capabilities of Samsung DeX herald a paradigm shift in our approach to technology. Before you make your next tech purchase of like thinking about a laptop and a computer and you don't have enough money or you have enough money to just buy one, consider buying a nice phone with a desktop mode and then some VR glasses or a cheap monitor, and you got yourself a desktop computer that's very powerful and you can game on it even. I might as well show you gaming. Let's go ahead and pull up, I mean, you know, I'm gonna pull up something simple. You know, I like balloons. We'll pull up balloons, tower defense. Let's do that in Samsung Deck. So right, you get to do all this stuff in one. Have you truly unlocked the potential of your current device? Look at that. That's really cool. Have you truly unlocked the potential of your device? I'm gonna get out of here though. Um, and if you haven't given Samsung Dex a try, if you're someone who has a Samsung phone, perhaps it's time you did. Go ahead and uh, share your experiences with me. Let me know if you've used Samsung Dex before. What are your favorite use cases? And um, if you haven't, or if you don't have a phone with a desktop mode, are you thinking about getting one after this showcase or just after this idea of thinking through what does it mean to have a phone with a desktop mode? Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Subscribe to the channel, and hopefully you got something out of this.